Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Invasion Farmhouse IPA. As it says, bottled with Britannomyces. It is a beer brewed at Anchorage Brewing Company in Anchorage, Alaska. As you can see, it's in collaboration with Mikla Apeson ABV. So let's get this open, see what we've got in here. Been really impressed with everything that Anchorage have done so far, so I'm sure this is going to be very much on those lines of quality. Wow, quite a pop! Loads of oh, I think it's a good job that I had this quite quite chilled because it, it was creeping up, wasn't the foam? Yeah, quite a lot of carbonation. As you can see, lots of <coughs> lots of fizz on that. Yeah, loads of carbonation streaming from the bottom of the glass. That's crazy. Look at that. Absolutely flying. So greasy finger usually kills off the head quite quickly. So bare the glass, very very hazy, dark orange. It's like a tornado in the middle of that. Is the carbonation. Uh, I don't know if there's a, a kind of a laser etching on this, my stress, stress of glass. The head, big, fluff, fluffy kind of like egg whites, um, like whipped egg whites, slightly off, off white, slightly kind of orange tint to it. So let's check out the aroma, which I'm getting a preview already. <sighs> yes. <laughs> it's, this is really strange. Um, one thing that it does remind me, it does remind me of um, like the Galaxy um, IPA from, uh, Galaxy White IPA from Anchorage, it also reminds me of the Bitter Monk, but even more so in this time. And I mean this in the best possible way. It smells like a public toilet, the clean public toilet. It has got a kind of like a bit of a pissy smell. It's got that kind of ammonia but also that kind of really, that it's big bready quality in this. And the funk of the bread and the hop, and the kind of citrus of hops gives you this idea of like a urinal cake. But it's, it's got a, it's hugely funky. But then this kind of like, it's kind of like a, like a really synthetic sherbet, citrus kind of thing going on. And it, I can't think of anything more accurate than a clean public toilet. <laughs> but it's still, but it's because I've, I've become uh, comfortable with how these beers smell um, from, from Anchorage with a big bread quality that it's acceptable. <laughs> anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Mm, lovely. Oh, fantastic. Oh, maybe even better than Bit, Bit of Monk, actually, this one. Uh, I'd say that uh, the basis of this beer is a big, kind of chewy, resinous IPA. Yeah, bit, it's got that, it's got that um, kind of black tea, kind of resin note. It's got big, um, kind of blood orange, big puckering, juicy grapefruit. Hint of kind of yeah, there's dark malts coming, so probably more like a kind of crystal malt that kind of thing coming through, with it like a, a burnt kind of caramel edge. Maybe a bit of melon and pineapple. Medium bodied, maybe medium to full. The, um, not, not much of a, it's not s such a bitter beer really, but it's more the resinous kind of like chewy sweetness. And the bitterness when it does come, it's, it's slightly floral, quite perfumed at the back of your throat. With a lasting kind of, once again it adds a definitely grapefruit and um, an orange peel. I 
it's nice, it's a nice beer. It smells insane. <laughs> it really does smell like what I said. Maybe it's calming down a little bit now. Getting a bit more fruity. But yeah. <laughs> Public toilet. <laughs> Another really interesting beer. One of the better, I think this, this, this brewery, it is an Anchorage beer. I don't know what level of interaction, um, influence that Mikla has had over this. I don't know if he designed it completely or he was there during the brewing. I don't know. and I'm not certain on his involvement in many of his brews these days. From what I've heard, he kind of sees himself as like a like a head chef. He designs things and then other, pe other people kind of um, make it happen. But Anchorage use bread in a really kind of a confident way. Uh, they're not holding back at all, they're using a lot of it, but I think they're using it in perfect amounts to produce things that are really interesting, actually. The bottle doesn't smell as pissy. The bottle smells a lot more like being dry hop, actually. Still a bit pissy, though. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, let's have my kind of toilet talk. Well, that is a collaboration between Anchorage Brewing in Anchorage, Alaska, that's where it's brewed, in collaboration with Mikla, 8% ABV, bred up, big chewy American IPA, probably more of an East Coast IPA, but a real lovely beer, if you can get past that insane nose. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com, see you next time, cheers.